Hi, welcome to Trailers from Hell. I'm Larry Karaszewski. Right now we're going to look at a movie that has an absolutely terrible title called Wife vs. Secretary. It sounds crass, simplistic, outdated. So much so that I never bothered to see it, despite its all-star cast of Clark Gable, Myrna Loy, and Jean Harlow. But last year I gave it a shot at the TCM Festival, and boy am I glad I did. This is a smart movie that still has something to say today, so let's take a look. Who do you think this is? Simpson. No. Try again. Uh, Finney? No. Try again. Why oh, you? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Surprise? A husband. Mm -hmm. How yeah. nice. Thank you for a lovely evening. Thank you. When most people think about Clark Gable these days, they think of him in epic period pieces like Gone with the Wind and Mutiny on the Bounty. But what made him the king of Hollywood was his snappy ability to play a cool modern man. Like the newspaper reporter in It Happened One Night, or his successful magazine publisher in this movie, the center of a tug-of-war between wife and secretary. For such a stupid title, it's surprising how real the emotions are played here, and how flipped the expectations are. Myrna Loy is the wife here, and she's the sexy one. Her scenes with Gable are playful and sensual. They're a great, happy couple who fit together, very reminiscent of her teamings with William Powell on the Thin Man films. Loy and Gable's scenes here push the 1936 censorship boundaries. The movie feels more like a pre-code. There's a bedroom door sequence that's quite racy. Harlow plays the secretary a smart, hard-working girl who meshes with Gable in a different way, through his work and passion. She connects with him like a business partner. And the movie loves all three of these people. Nobody is doing the wrong thing, so the emotional tugs are strong. The scene near the end in which Harlow goes to Loy to resolve the situation is absolutely heartbreaking. Gable had worked with each of these actresses around four or five times at this point, so the chemistry is great with both. In an odd coincidence, Harlow is actually dating Loy's Thin Man co-star William Powell during the making of this film. Wife vs. Secretary is directed by the great Clarence Brown, the man who holds the record for the most Academy Award nominations for Best Director without an actual win. My favorite of his other movies is Free Soul from 1931 with Norma Shearer. The screenplay here is written by some giants, Norman Krasna, John Lee Mahan, Alice Miller with a story uh, by Faith Baldwin. These are all terrific writers. It's funny, it's smart, it's touching, and if that's not enough to make you seek out the film, there's a young Jimmy Stewart appearance as Harlow's jealous boyfriend. He's terrific, as is the whole movie. 